Hi there, in this video I'm going to show how to statically assign an IP address in CentOS 7. By default CentOS 7 uses DHCP to assign IP addresses which, may, which means the IP address can change on your server which isn't ideal. So the first thing I'm going to type in here is ifconfig space hyphen a. I can see here I have the IP address 192.168.67.130 dynamically assigned to my server. So I'm just going to take note of that so I have it handy and I'm going to assign that one statically to my server. So the next thing I'm now going to check is to see what the gateway is, what the gateway address is for this server. So I'm going to type in root hyphen n. Okay, and I can see it's 192.168.67.2. So I'll take note of that in my notepad file here as well. And lastly, I'm going to check to see what it's using for its DNS servers. So I'll do this by typing cat space etc and then resolve and I'll use tab completion to tab it out. Okay, and we can see it's using the 67.2 as well. Okay, now that we have this, uh, now we have this information, let's go into the ENS33 configuration file and change one thing. So type in sudo vi space forward slash etc forward slash sysconfig forward slash network scripts and we're looking for ifcfg hyphen ens let's just tab this out to finish it okay so come down to the bottom here type i to go into insert mode press return and type in all uppercase nm underscore c o n t r o l l e d equals remove uppercase and type no escape colon w quit to come out and save okay so now what we need to do is type in sudo n m t u i edit e n s tree tree okay perfect so let's come down to IP version 4 and let's change this to manual and click show. Okay, addresses, let's add one and we're going to add in what we've had previously, what we've took note of. So 192.168.67.130. So that's 192.168.67 no, and we're missing the dot here, dot 130. Let's do forward slash 24 so we know it's the correct subnet 255.255.255.0. Okay, so let's come down to our gateway here and we're going to type in 192.168.67.2. Let's add a DNS server that's the same 192.168.67.2. Okay, everything looks okay here. So let's just come down and click okay here. Now let's just try restart our networking by running sudo service network. If I could type network restart. Perfect, and we can now see that our network has restarted. Okay, now let's just make sure that we can still ping out to external sites. We're gonna type in ping www.google.ie and you can see we can still ping out so our network is working. So that was how to assign a static IP in CentOS 7 and thanks for watching.